ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 21st of January. Many folks are having a holiday today. A lot of schools around, but uh, hey, we're here and you're here, so let's talk weather. And again, we go back and look at some really pretty shots, just a few of them. Coming from you, and again, just wanted to thank you for the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures. Still haven't had time to look at all of them. I will do that today. Uh, we've got them all up on our Flickr feed. We'll post links to that on the uh, blog. And, of course, many of them are on abc3340.com, but that was just a, a really fun deal. Watching the kids' faces light up and the snowmen being built and everything else, that was just great. But we better move on here and look ahead to the future because that's what we do here. And uh, there's a look at our water vapor satellite imagery this morning, and the flow is going zonal. And that means uh, we're not going to be as cold the next few days. And, man, you talk about cold readings uh, uh, this morning and yesterday way down in the teens. But uh, we'll warm up to near 50 today as the core of the cold air moves on out. But there's a look at the numbers this morning. You know where they played that football game up in Green Bay last night? Looks like they're about, what, I don't know, 15 below zero this morning. And these are not wind chill values. These are actual air temperatures. You've got teens down into uh, Alabama and Georgia, the Carolinas. Just a very frigid air mass. But again, we'll start to warm up today. On the uh, Skycam network uh, this morning, real quick, I just wanted to show you we've still got some snow. Look at Mount Sheehaw. Snow there and down in Chilton County, still snow on the ground there. That's the uh, City Hall building there. You can see the snow in the uh, right around those trees down there. So, of course, it'll all of it will fizzle away today. Here's our QPF chart. This is the expected rain across the country, valid through uh, Friday evening at 6 o'clock. And you can see about a half inch of rain expected here, and that uh, almost all will come down during the day tomorrow, as you'll see. Here's the uh, output of the GFS valid at noon today. Flow has gone zonal. Big uh, chunk of energy coming into the Pacific Northwest Coast. Little ripples in that zonal flow, and we'll deal with one of those tomorrow. Of course, today we'll be in good shape. After the very cold start this morning, we'll be close to 50 today. Tomorrow, here comes the next batch of rain from that uh, next little ripple in the impulse, and that should be just a day where it's cloudy and cool and periods of rain, uh, probably highs in the upper 40s tomorrow. Wednesday, that feature is on by. Should be dry on Wednesday with a clearing sky. Again, we'll be close to 50 probably. Thursday, look at the trough sharpening up again. This is uh, Thursday coming off the GFS back at 500 millibars. And down at the surface, a cold front comes through, and we think it comes through in dry fashion. So it will be breezy and colder with a high in the low and mid-40s on Thursday. You know, we, I can't recall the last day we had temperatures above normal here. It's been a while. Friday looks cold and dry. Friday morning should be pretty cold. We should be down in the uh, 20s, maybe some upper teens for the colder valleys. And then Saturday starting off the weekend, here comes the uh, next wave in the disturbed southern stream. And uh, we note the surface high kind of wedging in here from the east, but I don't think we'll have any icing issues with this. That just looks like a, uh, a rain deal. So first guess on Saturday looks wet as we start the weekend. And then Sunday, the feature passes north of us and uh, kind of drags a cold front down in here, and Sunday looks wet. So for your outdoor plans, be aware uh, this weekend, be aware that it could be wet at times. All right, who wants to go into voodoo country? Do we dare even look? Oh, sure, that's what we do here. And the snow lovers will love this. This is the 2nd of February, and you can see a, a big trough off to the west and a surface low spinning up. Ooh, it spins up uh, down there around Apalachicola. And uh, if this would be correct, that would be a big snowstorm for Mississippi at that point. And later in the day, as it spins northeast, that would be a big snowstorm for Alabama and Georgia. But let's all say it together. We are in voodoo country here. There's no skill at anything specific that far in advance, but the idea is just on the, on the table. And at the end of the cycle on the 5th, a, a trough is lifting north of here, and uh, that would suggest relatively benign weather, but still awfully cold up north. It, uh, this is going to be a very cold winter, it looks like, for our friends uh, over the north. And, and so far, temperatures here 
down across the deep south look like they'll be uh, below normal for the next couple of weeks too. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.